hello YouTube land and welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, uh, probably about mm, maybe two weeks ago or so, I had posted a picture of a handbag that I had purchased. And um, some people thought it was a Birkin and uh, you can tell from the title of this video that it was not a Birkin. And, um, but instead it was this beauty right here. And, um, this, the bandeau that I have on here is the one that, uh, Christy J had given me, um, in the, um, when we had did the collaboration on her giveaway and, and things like that. Many of you guys saw this, uh, bandeau right here but i wrapped it around this bag right here because i just thought that was really cute and when i first saw this bandeau i thought you know what? it would look perfect on this bag so here it is on the bag and it is really really nice but anyway about this beauty right here this is the teddy blake um katie and it's the 12 inch one i do believe and it is in the color dark beige and the measurements of this bag i'm just going to give you those real quick the measurements are 9.8 inches in height 6.3 inches in width and 11.8 inches in length and the handle drop right here is uh, 3.5 inches but anyway so those are the dimensions on, on the bag, and um, it has this, um, this lock right here, and it has, what do you call this, uh, a clochette, and inside it does have the keys inside of there. It is in silver hardware, and it does have four feet on the bottom. Now, okay, why did I get this bag, right? Um, I had heard about Teddy Blake mm, last year or so from a fellow YouTuber and I had actually purchased the bag and I purchased it in this exact color but there was like some loose threadings on it so I actually returned the bag and then I was kind of sitting on the fence about the bag because like I said it looks like a Birkin bag okay and you know so I was kind of sitting on the fence about that because I didn't I didn't know how I felt about that okay um, so that was that and I didn't reorder it any again and so that was that and about uh, maybe three weeks ago um, I got a message from uh, a fellow youtuber saying hey you know somebody else is is selling their Teddy Blake Teddy Blake bag and she goes, I knew that you were interested in it at one point. And so I said, hmm. So I contacted the person. And so this is a pre-loved bag. But they only use the bag for maybe a couple of weeks or so. Because all the hardware, there's no scratches on the hardware or anything like that. And so I contacted the, the person. And, um, you know, I, I purchased the bag and I got it at a fraction of a price. So that made it even all the more better because this bag typically goes for, I think, like $450 or something like that. Um, don't quote me on it. So I said, hey, that's a great price. So I went ahead and I purchased the bag and um, I am really happy that I did. For me, um you know, I would never buy a Birkin bag, okay, for two reasons. One, it's a handheld bag, okay, and I discovered about myself that I am not a handheld bag girl. Um, I have, you know, two speedies in there that I don't carry all that much because um, they're handheld bags. So um, that's one reason why I wouldn't buy a Birkin because it's a handheld bag. And another reason too is because it's a heavy bag, okay? And then the other reason I wouldn't never purchase a Birkin bag is because of the price tag, okay? Even for a pre-loved one, you're not gonna get any decent one for, you know, under five grand, okay? And, you know, for me, five, six, seven thousand dollars even on a pre-loved, that's just too much money for me to spend. Um, I just have a limit. 
And, you know, for me, my holy grail bag is the Chanel um, single classic flap in a jumbo. That is my holy grail bag. And one day, you know, I will own a bag like that. And of course, because they don't do single, sell single flaps, it would have to be a pre-loved bag. And that's fine. So, you know, um, that is the reason why I would never buy a Birkin bag. And this bag actually comes with a shoulder strap. And um, so here's the shoulder strap right here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have this bag either because it's, a, it, you know, this right here is a handheld. But, you know, I know in the luxury community here on YouTube, um, I had, you know, read several comments that people had left on other YouTubers' channel that had purchased their bag. In the comments, they were some nasty comments, you know. And I just feel like, you know what, you do you and let me do me, okay? So, um, saying that to say this, um, this is not, you know, this comment is not meant for my subscribers or the people that stop by to show me love or anything like that. So you guys, you just disregard this comment. But for anybody who wants to stop by and leave a nasty comment, don't bother, okay? Because, you know, until you pay my bills... I really don't care what you have to say, okay? And I'm going to do me and you do you. And I know this bag is not for everyone's likings because of the way it looks. Some people will like, you know what? I'd rather have a Birkin. Or if I can't have a Birkin, then I don't want one that looks like a Birkin. And that's fine. You know, I, I understand, you know, I understand that. And you do you. Uh, but for me... I, I like the bag. I like the design of the bag. And so um, I got the bag. So let me just tell you a little bit about this bag right here. Now, the company that makes this bag is called the, the Beauty, B-U-T-I. And it's an Italian company. It's a family-owned company. The bag's all handmade. Uh, this is calfskin leather. And the inside of the bag, which I will show you, is suede. And um, the, so the company is, is, is based in Italy, and they have the different stores that sell these bags. Teddy Blake, which is based in New York, sells um, these bags right here, okay? So, and I will leave the link down to the company that makes the bags. And if anyone's interested in going, you know, on that website and learning more about the history, the company started making bags in 1958. Um, so the company has been around since the 1950s, okay, in Italy. Um, so anyway, let me just go ahead and let me open up the bag and... Um, so I'm going to do that for you guys and just show you what it looks like on the inside. And let me take the stuffing out. Okay, so on the inside, this is what the inside of the bag looks like. And it is all suede. So it has a pocket right here. Let's see. And this is a nice size pocket right there. And then it has another, uh, this is, so this is the zip pocket. And then it has another, uh, just a slip pocket right here. And let's see, it says, I don't know, let me put my glasses on here. Because it has this patch here. And on the patch it says, what does it say? It says, uh, it says Teddy Blake, New York. Okay. So, um. And it's quite roomy inside. And then it has, well, as you know, um, it has these right here, these pleats on the side. And um, so, yeah. So this is what the bag looks like on the inside. So it is a nice, spacious bag. Um, plenty enough room for all the things that you need to put in there. And, um, you know, you could, you know, if you want to leave the bag open, you can do that. Or, um, and then it has, let's see, I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place here. I apologize about that. But this right here, it actually, it says beauty on it. You might not be able to see it, but right here on the plate, it does say beauty. And what else does it say? It says, 
I think it says, what does it say? Beauty, uh, oh, I don't know what it, I can't read what that says. Made in, I can't see what that says. So I apologize about that. But it does say uh, beauty right here. And then in the small print, it says something, but I can't make it out. So um, what else did I want to say about this bag? I gave you the dimensions. Um, it's the KT bag. It's This is the dark uh, beige leather. It's handcrafted in Italy. And, um, you know, uh, and it's, yeah, the calfskin leather. So this right here is, is, is the bag. And I just think that this really is a beautiful bag. Um, it's very well made. Um, and the leather smells really, really nice. But I think this is, this bag is a great bag for someone who maybe wants to decide whether or not they want a Birkin bag, which is how I ended up with this one right here because the, the uh, young lady decided that she did want a Birkin bag, um, but she was just used, purchased this right here just to see if that's what she wanted. Um, so that, this is a great alternative. Also, if someone, you know, hey, if you can't afford a Birkin bag, but you like the look of a Birkin bag, this is a great bag. Or if you like the Birkin bag, but you know what? You would prefer something that had a shoulder strap. Here's your shoulder strap right here. So you get the best of both worlds. And um, let me turn it around for you. So that's what it looks like in the back. And like I said, the bottom does have the four feet on them. And um, so, yeah, you know, this is my reveal. Um, and this bag is not as heavy of a bag either. It's not as heavy, of course, as a Birkin. So for me, that's a plus. Um, like I said, the Birkin, it's, it's a beautiful bag. Um, my girl Christy J has one, and it's beautiful. I love the color of hers. Um, but for me, like I said, I'm not a handheld bag. And I know that if I were to purchase a Birkin and, you know, after the newness wears off on it and I get tired of carrying it around and it's heavy, I know me. I, I wouldn't use the bag as much. And for that price, you know, I couldn't see just letting the bag sit there. So I probably would end up selling the bag. So this right here for me is a better alternative uh, much better price point and you know I get to um, wear uh, get to you have a shoulder strap now let's see um, I'm gonna have to try and figure oh okay wait a minute here we go so let's see okay this is how you hook the shoulder strap on I was that's what I was looking for you have this little um, clap this little what do you call it hook right here so you have one in the back and you have the one that is in the front right here so that's how you hook and this right here is a really nice clasp and it swivels so this is very nice sturdy um clasp right here so it's not the bag the bag is it's not a cheap bag this is a very well made well-designed bag so let me go ahead and put the shoulder strap on and so this is how it would hang okay and at the end I will do some mod shots with the bag but um, this is a beautiful bag there's nothing wrong with this bag and um, you know um, hey if you you know if you like you uh, a Teddy Teddy Blake bag then you get you a Teddy Blake bag, okay? And um, I'm glad that I have it. And uh, But I just wanted to share it with you guys. And, um, you know, just just let you show you my, my new reveal. You so know, and for me, to keep it real, these are just bags. That's all. Something for us to throw our crap into and to carry on with our day. It's just that, you know, some bags cost more than others. That's it. So, you know, that, that's pretty much my take on it anyway. It's just a bag. That's all. Just a bag. So stay tuned for the mod shots at the end. And today is Friday the 20th of uh, October. And I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.